Hello, it is damn time. Actually, it is damn happy hour tonight. I have the beer going on, Ziegenbach. It's another favorite of mine, although a lightweight favorite, because, uh, you know, I love beer, but I don't want to, like, you know, get drunk. So, low alcohol content. <laughs> anyway, are we ready to start our meditation mandala today? And uh, let's see, let's just get started, shall we? Um, oh, there's yesterday's. Forgot to change my page over. I'm running out of paper. I'm gonna have to start using the other side soon. <laughs> okay, let's see. <clears throat> let's, um, you know what? I was going to, no, I don't want brown. That's brown too. Red, there we go. I wanted to use a different color today. I don't know why, just mixing it up. You know me, I'm not normally a color person, but, oh, and this is a point two also. Point two <clears throat> is um, a finer pen nib. So if you can tell the difference, like between the two. So this one is a two and zero two and this one's a zero five. So you can see there's a big difference in how thick they are. So the zero two will make much thinner lines, obviously. <clears throat> okay, so let's um let's get started. I'm going to draw a let's make a circle. And don't worry if your circle is not perfect. It's okay. Um, nobody can draw a perfect circle. I've drawn bazillions of them and mine are okay, but nowhere near perfect. And, uh, okay, so let's just, let's just go with our normal flower petals around here. And, um, remember focusing on our lines. So we have a definite start and stop point, start, stop, start, stop start stop so that we stay mindful and uh, on our task of, of creating this meditation or mindfulness mandala hey cuz thanks for joining and um, let's see just started are you gonna be drawing a mandala with me today or just watching Let's go ahead and make our kind of double little petals around this. Now these will, I promise you, start to look wonky. They just do. <clears throat> Excuse me, for some reason, one side always wants to come out bigger than the other and longer than the other, and <laughs> that's okay. It kind of adds to their charm. And then see on this one, I ended up with not enough space for a full one. So I'm just gonna start here and I'm just gonna kind of act like it's going behind those others. Well, that makes sense, so it's just, I'm just gonna kind of, instead of, because I could also squeeze in the whole thing, but instead of doing that, I just acted like it's, you know, a, a full one, full size, just kind of going behind these other two. Let's see. Let us make a, let us just outline the shape of this. Okay, so we're just gonna go all the way around and just kind of repeating the shapes going around. So on that, let me start from here so you can kind of see what I'm doing. So we'll just start and just kind of, you know, follow the shape of these kind of double petals that we were doing. So it's just like kind of two humps, right? You're going up and down and up and down. And we'll just follow all that all the way around. Again, making sure to keep focus on our, on our lines, on our start and stop points. And let's, you know what, let's make a, let's just do another one of those. So we're gonna have like a double line of that. So just the whole thing, just do that again, all the way around. And 
And so we have kind of almost this wave pattern coming out from the center being repeated so many times. So it kind of looks like it's just kind of coming out in waves or sort of undulating out. I think that's really pretty. Um, let's go ahead and make, let's make some more petals. Just, just do them kind of bigger. So just, just starting anywhere around these, uh, the line underneath. I'm going to start and just make these little bit bigger petals going around. And also remember to, and I, you know, I don't do it because it's just the, the whole camera thing, um, but to turn your paper as you make your shapes. We'll, um, we'll make the shapes usually, you know, come out much nicer looking, but it also just saves your wrist. Um, remember just kind of doing this motion so much when you're making your mandalas, uh, makes your wrist really sore. Those tendons do not like that. And uh, so just turning our paper and keeping your wrist in the same position really helps that a lot. I don't know why my, my camera on my phone keeps going kind of in dark mode and then brightening up and then going darker and brightening up. I'm not quite sure what's going on. I need to look into that. Actually, I need to like look at the video and see if it actually does that that you can see or if it, that's just something that I can see on my end. Um, this is kind of weird. Anyway, okay, so let's see. Let's, um, since we're doing like the repeated kind of thing, let's just go and, you know, just kind of outline this shape. So again, we're going to just take and just go right along the same shape, just on the outside of it repeating that or kind of almost outlining it. And um, again, keeping aware of our, our lines. So we have a start, draw, stop. Start, draw, stop. And again, you don't, you know, you don't have to say that out loud and you don't have to move in slow motion, but just as you're drawing it, just keep that in mind. So as I'm drawing them in each one, I have a definite start and stop point. And that way, you don't start just, you know, getting sloppy and not thinking about your lines and your mind starts to wander and drift off into, you know, thinking about all the things that you need to do, like what's for dinner and all that kind of stuff. And that's what we're trying to get away from. So just keeping, you know, bringing our attention back to our line work and back to the shapes we're making and back to our pen on the paper um, will keep us, you know, really in this moment. And, okay, let's see. How about we do some circles. So let's make some circles around. So just in each one of these little these little bends here, we're just going to make a circle. This mandala is definitely having a more um, mendy kind of feel to it. It's just the type of shapes that I'm using. And uh, Mindy, I don't know if you if you know like um, henna designs. Um, he's like you know the, the the that that type of work is called Mendy work, Mendy art, and this one is kind of looking in that vein, which I do also um, henna. So um, sometimes I'll get into that mode where I'll do a lot more of these type of. Hey, Stacy. A lot more of these type of mandalas that look like you have like a you know a henna design. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and let's um, let's make our shapes go around. So we're gonna do kind of like half circles or these petal shapes just around these circles. Just kind of giving some space around there. Are you drawing today or are you just watching, Stacy? You've been doing tons of mandalas yourself, haven't you? I've been loving your cards that you're doing. It's really cool. And let's see. We will continue this around. And one thing about um, these Mendy or Henna type of mandalas is they usually are a much uh, tighter design. There's not as much sort of open white space. Hey Jess, 
Um, and that's just kind of, you know, the, just a stylistic thing um, in how, you know, Mindy designs usually look. They're much more detailed and, and you know, tighter, uh, more concentrated shapes and um, a lot of repeated shapes. Let's see, okay. Um, oh, cool, some, some mandala bookmarks. Oh, I keep forgetting like on, when you rewatch these videos, you don't, they don't necessarily see your question and I answer your question without repeating it so that it's really confusing when you watch the video. But yeah, you're Stacy, you're saying that uh, you've been drawing a ton of mandalas and making some bookmarks, that's really cool. You haven't posted your bookmarks yet, have you? I haven't seen those. I've seen your cards, but not bookmarks. <laughs> okay, let's make some of our little chubby triangles going around. So just, um, let's go ahead and just put them in between. So in this little, you know, dip, this little kind of um, valley here in this shape, we're just going to make our little chubby triangles like this. And so just that triangle that's kind of, you know, a little bit poofy, kind of bows out a little bit. So I think they look like little chubby triangles. So that's why I call them that. And so we'll just put those in there. And again, on, especially as you get out to the outer part of the, the mandala, it's really um, important to remember to turn your paper as you're working because your wrist really starts to strain if you don't. Sometimes when I'm not very paying attention to that too much, I won't and then I regret it. I'll have, it, it'll actually keep me up at night sometimes, the pain that comes in my tendons here, um, all the way up my arm. So I really need to Pay attention to that and that doesn't happen normally it's just because I draw so many mandalas um, and especially on these videos when I'm not taking care to turn my paper as much as I should I start to feel it so just you know remember just if you're turning your paper you're not going to have a problem at all it's just this kind of repetitive movement just like any any task that you're doing the you know repetitive um, movement injuries that you get it's the same type of thing and we just really want to avoid that. Um, let's see, let's take and let's make um, some of our kind of pointy leaf shapes going in here. And let's see, I'm wanting to do them, I wonder if I can do them every other one. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna just do a count to see if that'll come out even. So I've started here, so if I skip one, then I put one and skip, shape, skip, shape, skip, shape, skip, shape, skip, shape. So see, I will end up with two shapes here, so that's not gonna come out evenly. So I can just go with that and be like, okay, well, I'm gonna have two in a row, or I can decide to just, you know, put them going up between all of them. And that just really depends on, you know, if I had made one more of these shapes and you know everyone was just a little bit um more so it just completely depends on the the amount of underlying kind of shapes that you have if it's an even or odd amount on how doing that kind of skipping will come out um correctly or not and we you know if you're doing them where you're you're drawing them more as a finished mandala and you plan them out a little bit you can think about that and actually plan to have a certain amount so that it will come out and you can you know, do certain designs that you might not be able to do without planning. All right, let's see, a couple more. Am I running out of ink? What's going on here? Oy, oy, oy. Now I think um, because I, I put my pen at such an angle so that you can see the lines I'm making, and this is such a very fine little tip, 
if it gets at too much of an angle, it kind of sputters out and it doesn't want to make a nice line because when I go straight up and down, it still makes a nice line. So that's what's going on. Um, I'm not running out of ink. Yay. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. What are we going to do now? Let's, um, let, wait, wait, time check. Okay, got a little bit more. So let's go ahead and behind these shapes, so let's just put kind of like a little semicircle there. So just like a little curved line. And we're not necessarily on this one thinking about making a circle behind. I just want to have kind of this um, semi-circle shape layered behind these petals. So not worrying about exactly where each one lands, just in the upper portion of the leaf shape, or pointy petal shape, or whatever you want to call it. They're kind of my Hershey's Kisses shape um, a little bit, just sort of elongated. There we go. And let's, you know what, let's go ahead and do another repeat line. And um, we've got a lot of repeated lines in here. We don't out here. So just for design, sake, sake of design um, elements, let's go ahead and add another um, repeated line around these. Right, so we're just gonna take this shape that we just made and, and put one right on the outside of it. Nope, see my lines are sputtering out again. Maybe if I do, let's start from underneath. Maybe you can see the lines better that way. Is that better? Yeah, I think that's better. You can see them more. I'm trying to glance up at the camera, see what you can see. All right, getting going a little bit quicker. And again, it's, you know, sometimes when we do these repeated shapes, it tends to get a little repetitive. So we really need to focus on, on making sure that we're still focused, you know, concentrating on our lines, our, you know, our definite start and stop points of our lines um, so that we don't, you know, just get sloppy and, and our minds start wandering. All right, let's, um, let's see. Let's start going on the inside. And because uh, with this many shapes, as we start getting bigger, it's going to take much, much longer because each, each row you go out, there's going to be more elements that you have to do. And you can continue going. It, it, these kind of shapes, they especially look really good to fill an entire page. Um, but that, you need to be prepared to spend a little bit of time on that. <laughs> so we'll just go ahead and go straight to the center and do some inside decorating. I have about four more minutes before I have to log off, so... One of the first things I want to do is I want to go in between these little um, shapes here and we'll go down here and just put a circle just in between these two pointed petal shapes. And I won't do all of them just for, for time's sake. Um, and then you know what, let's go ahead and just put like a dot in the middle of these circles, just for some interest. Hey, Diane. Okay, I'm actually just starting to finish up here, um, but just you know, doing some little details. But I save all these videos um, in uh, one of my albums on my uh, personal profile called Damn Videos. Um, and I've also put them all on my YouTube channel. So they're in a, a playlist on my YouTube channel. So that's easier for you to watch them later to, on that. that uh, that's some way you can do it too. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's go inside of these shapes and let's put a little teardrop shape going. So just starting at the, the tip here in this little point and making kind of like a teardrop going in. And sometimes doing these kind of shapes, it would get confusing if you're, because you're going one direction and then you have to kind of remember um, going around. So again, you know, turning your paper um, will help you a lot in that because you're making the same shape over and over. Um, there we 
go. And uh, again, I won't do them all just for time's sake. Let's put a little dot below this teardrop. There we go. And then let's see. Let's going on uh, along with our sort of Mendy feel. You know, we're adding um, more details than than some other times. Let's let's put a little another little teardrop or leaf shape just on either side of this little circle here. So just lots and lots of nice detail in these kind of mandalas. And I try to um, I try to keep enough interest in these mandalas, especially for those of you who've done many with me, to kind of you know mix it up and, and put some more elements in there, but just still keeping it simple enough to where it makes it a nice, mindful mandala. We're not trying to be you know super detailed or anything. And also for beginners who haven't um, you know done mandalas at all, to be able to easily make the shapes. So having that kind of combination of of uh, you know, simple, easy to make shapes, but putting some interest in there sometimes can get a little bit tricky. So I hope, uh, I hope I'm meeting a pretty decent balance. Um, let's see, let's, um, let's go ahead and, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put actually another kind of repeated shape in here. So we're just gonna do another little semicircle but on right in the center of these bigger ones. And let's so time check. Oh, oh, I got just like another minute. Okay. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> let's um, let's just add some of the little lift lines in here. So these organic lines that I like. Let's add inside of these double petals. So again, that's a have the same line pattern, like you have a start point and you draw, but instead of stopping, you lift. So you have start, draw, lift. Start, draw, lift. And that will just give a much more organic look to the line. I don't know if you can tell that, it's awfully tiny, but the end is very tapered. Um, and so it, it makes it look much more natural and organic of a line. And again, that's just a, a lift. So instead of start, draw, stop, we start, draw, lift. And that will give you that tapered line at the end. And that gives a nice petal look to it. Looks very, uh, very organic, kind of botanical, like you have like, you know, flower petals there. Anyway, so it is time for me to log off. Um, thanks everybody for, uh, for watching along or hopefully drawing a mandala with me. Um, if you did draw one, go ahead and post it. I would love to see a picture. Um, again, share this video, please. I would love to reach as many people and just you know introduce them to uh, meditation mandalas and, and drawing them, uh, hopefully drawing them, but at least you know watching me um, do them. That's always relaxing in itself. And um, again, these are saved in a, in a uh, album called uh, Damn Videos or on my YouTube channel, which is Des, you know, Deb Sormenio um, on, on YouTube. I have a playlist called Damn Videos. And yeah, that's it. Everybody have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.